Hello and welcome back to Ominous Request. We're here in the crypts looking at the uh, sarcophagus, I guess, of Robert Franklin, which his body should be here, but it isn't. And that's ominous. So, uh, getting stuck on the panel. Um, yeah, so this plaque is lying to us. However, I went into the sewers through the ventilation panel there, and in the sewers was uh, the controls for the water pipe controlling these fonts. So these are now holy water. Both of them, I believe, which is good. So that gives me holy water for 30 seconds. More importantly, I can now do the gardener's experiment. He wanted to find out what happens when he is, gets holy water on the sponge. Oops. I meant to try it. I meant to use it. Okay, let's drop, drop it here. Anything? Maybe I need to use an actual holy water arrow on it. Holy sponge! Great, so now I have the ability to transfer holy water elsewhere. Now, I do remember saying someone wanted holy water somewhere. I think it was the Farringdon's crypt, right? He wanted holy water in the basin here. Maybe. I don't trust my memory on this point, but it was something like that. So let's try, let's try putting holy sponge here. Do anything? I mean, it glows. Something on that. Hmm. No, alright, I'm gonna keep the holy sponge then. Maybe we need that. Maybe we're gonna find that sword that uh, is mentioned in the book of mystical artifacts somewhere. If we find that sword somewhere, we might need the holy water to deal with that. So for now, let us go back this way and investigate the death of poor brother, what's his face down there, Jorgen? Something like that. Something like that. There's no, there's no ladder down there, so I don't think I can get down that way. Before I go anywhere, let's try getting over here and taking the gold. Most important reason to loot ancient crypts, of course. Any? There's more down there. Hmm. I know this does seem hazardous. Is this wood? Is that a wooden frame? This looks like a wooden frame, you know. If that's a wooden frame. That could be quite helpful. Indeed, it is. It's not going to help me get that gold there. That's. Uh, that's a different problem entirely. Oh wait, this wood this wouldn't be all the way around. What am I? I'm an idiot. I can do this. I can get the gold that way. Can I reach it? Mm. Oof, that was close. Uh, oh, there's way in. Possibly a way in there. No, it's not going to get me down far enough. So far, so good. Is there any reason to climb down that one? Or this one? Maybe this one. Let's see if there's any gold for me here. Or whether I'm just going to fall to my death like poor brother, what's his name? <coughs> well, I'm going to fall, that's for sure. Oops. Oh well. Uh, this tunnel's collapsed. I'm not going through there. What's those corpse of what's his name? Sorvin. Brother Sorvin's last note. O oh, builder, forgive my foolishness. I did not heed the high priest's warnings. Now I am dying here, and I do not think rescue will come in time. This is for my brethren who shall continue my explorations. 
I found inscriptions telling about the secret passage. In the corridor above, which leads back to the church, one of the body reliefs is different from all others. Close to that relief, there is supposed to be a switch that lowers one of the sarcophagi in this room. I do not know what lies behind it, but I found clues about the legendary weapon and a hidden chamber full of treasures. The world around me is a blur. I can almost... And it ends. Alright, so one of these sarcophagi leads to a chamber with a legendary weapon. Oh, hello. Stranger, if thou comest unbidden, do not go beyond this point. Uh, okay, that seems unambiguous as a warning. It's always wise to heed warnings in these uh, places. Maybe not always, maybe not listen to them all the time, but at least, you know, pay them some attention. On which side was my rope? There. All right. So I can get back up. So it's handy after all. No, 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 come on, come on, back, come on, guy. Oh, wow. Uh, thanks to the miracles of broken physics, not only did I not manage to properly stand on the ledge, but also, <laughs> counteracting that, I managed not to actually hurt myself as I fell, so... I guess sometimes it works both ways. Oh, is that a diamond? That is a diamond. I want that diamond. I can reach that one from the rope, I'm sure. No? Come on, tell me I can reach that one. Bollocks. Maybe I need to set the rope a little further back if I can. Let's try it right there. Yeah, that's better. There's no way I could jump and grab onto anything, so I would definitely be in for a fall if, if that wasn't working. Alright. There might be some gold down on the, one of these as well, the lower one is open, but... Oh, which one would have the mystery passage behind it? I don't know. Uh, is it in this passage, he said? Where's his note? No, oh, I've got a healing potion too. I should, I should use it. Uh, in the corridor above, which leads back to the church, one of them is different. Well, I've got something by it. Even though it's the same. How do we get up there? Oh, we've got wooden, wooden beams here too, okay. Cool, I'll just stick a couple of ropes in. I didn't even see this gold. All that gold. When I first came through here. Alright, so one of these is different. Which has a switch? Um, that one, because it's facing the other way. Is there any other gold that I missed? No. Oops, I meant to grab that. There we are. This one's facing the other way, and that's the switch. So, nope, that's the switch. Yeah, bollocks. Too far away for me to reach. Let's try this rope. Out of my way. So that lowers one of the sarcophaguses in this chamber, apparently. Which one? I don't know. Well, I do know now. That one. Let's go take a look. Chamber full of treasure and a mystical weapon. I like the sound of that. Don't know how he found that out. Like, those must be pretty uh, detailed inscriptions. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh. Through the cave or through the passage. Let's take the passage very fast. This is the tomb of the nameless Riddler. As in life, so in death does he challenge those of a keen mind. Be wary if you enter, for mistakes will cost you greatly. Well, I do want to enter and, and check out this riddle, but let's try going the other way first. Since we have a choice, let's see where this takes me. These are some creatures that burrowed here. This is the cursor level. The cursor kind of area isn't not. It looks like it's me. Oh wow, what is this place? It's like the uh, Half-Life test chamber. Though I imagine it's supposed to be conveying something else. Interesting. There is the sword I need. Oh, there's a... Huh. That alpha stone, that was matches the gamma one I found in the uh, hemorrhage room. Interesting. So this is, this is must be the sword. Where's the book? The book tells us more about the sword. So, there's a dormy cost, a magical sword forged in the Hall of Embers. It's a counterweight to another magical artifact, artifact created at the same time, which perhaps we will encounter, I don't know. Blues in the dark, has the ability to damage unholy creatures. When brought in contact with holy water, it reacts by radiating extreme heat, so it can always be released, should it sharply be stuck in stone or metal. Well, this is, this is the sword. So don't make us, I'm quite sure of that. Interesting. Maybe that's just the order I should be coming into these chambers. Alpha first, then beta, I don't know. Can I take it? No, can I use the sponge on it? Where is my holy sponge? sponge. Hmm. That must be the seventh mage or whatever the, that was mentioned in the book. Or his undead ghost. Thankfully he was very slow at spell casting. I was slowly hacking away at him until uh, he died. He got two spells off and both of them missed. I guess being dead uh, has a tendency to kind of hamper your skills. Oh, it does blend it out. That's bad. That makes me super visible now. So if I want to use a sword ever, I better be prepared for everybody to see me. Ooh. Ooh. Nicely hidden diamond there. Just as I just assumed the ruined chest is not going to be anything there. Alright, so that's a dummy cost. So now we have two doors that say don't enter. One of them is... Uh, the one up there, I forget exactly where, but that's, uh, which I probably need the sword for, there's this one, which is the Riddler. I'm gonna make a hard save here in case things are horribly wrong, or if I find out I need to backtrack horribly for something. I'll keep using my auto saves and assume normal progress. The Tomb of the Nameless Riddler. 
What is your riddle, Mr. Nameless Man? Progress comes to those who listen. When a light goes out, a tear goes up in flames. Only once man shall triumph over gravity. Okay. I don't see any lights that can go out. Oh, what's this? Might have been the passageway, the doorway somewhere. Oh, here we are. Progress comes to those who listen. Uh, <laughs> that's right, I was listening there. Alright. When a light goes out, a tear goes up in flames. Let's look this, let's write this down. Light goes out, tear up in flames. And only once man shall triumph over gravity. Only once triumph over gravity. Okay. I'm sure it's relevant. Hmm. When the light goes out. I break this light. I need to. Oh, well I can. Stick a rope arrow in it. Very odd. It's not usually the case. Uh, I'm not sure I'm supposed to either. I imagine that's why the wood is there. Yeah. Imagine that I can stick a rope arrow in that light as some oversight. All right, well that's fire arrow. Well, may that be relevant. Well, there's a light that might go out. Hmm. Let's just keep looking around here. The fallen over holy water font. Uh, wonder if I have to put the torch out and then try and set the holy water on fire. What have we got here? Oh, this is down below. This is the tomb of the Riddler. Oh, hello. There's a thing up there that I need to get to. I guess I need to try and put gravity to get to it. Alright. Let's see. When a light goes out, we picked up a water arrow and a fire arrow, so. Oh, what's this? A tear. Can I. Can I do that? I should do it. Not like that, we can't. <laughs> from here. No. Where can I shoot it from? <gasps> oh. Oh. Ow. All right. Uh, ow, I nearly killed myself there, but this statue has gone back. I'm out of health. I might have to... <laughs> Yeah, you're a statue of death for good reason, aren't you? Only once shall man triumph over gravity, well... <laughs> Do I just walk? Indeed, I just walk. Healing potions, please. Healing potions. Well, 
There's treasure. Can't be that easy, can it? And the secrets. <laughs> nice. Alright, uh, can't be that easy, can it? He says as he falls to his death. I like that. That's a good trap. That's an excellent trap. I did not see that bit coming. Alright, let's try this again. Put out the torch. See if I can find a different place to to shoot the thing from. Rather than hurting myself so much. Yeah, maybe here. Yeah, that worked. Alright, that's much better. It will still uh, kill me, obviously, if... Uh, <laughs> Hello, back up, Mr. Death. Thank you. Still kill me if I fall all the way down there. Even if the fall doesn't kill me, there's no way out. But, uh... Well, at the very least... Now I know what I'm dealing with here, I hopefully won't fall for that trick again. That explains these side pedestals, and I was wondering what they were about. Well, Mr... Whatever your name was. All this loot is now mine. All right, I do. I do like this room. It's a very good. Very good little trap there that I was completely unaware of. Completely not expecting. I was expecting, you know, arrows or to fly out of the walls or uh, pressure plates or. Undead being spawned or something like that. I was not expecting a false floor. Alright, so now we go back down. Oh wait, only twice shall man try and cover gravity apparently, because I've been there and back. Alright. Okay, so uh, Master Riddler, thank you for your riddles and your treasure. And now I shall return. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's let's reset the riddle for the next jump to come this way. And if they if they manage to solve it successfully, then uh, they will unfortunately find nothing left. Already. Well, it was a nice, valuable diversion. We're 70 short of the 4,000 gold that I need to have. Hmm. I still need to go back down and see what else is uh, down here. Alright, but point for another hard save because I have successfully completed the tricks as tricks and now there's nope ouch not what I wanted to do I should have just gone all the way down on the rope and fallen off the end so is this the one that said yeah do, if I'm bidden do not go beyond this point well why not can someone give me a reason well, that one's fine <sighs> <laughs> Why should I not go beyond this point, huh? Give me one good reason. Ow. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, uh, give me several good reasons. Give me several good reasons. Okay, now I know there's. See, I was expecting arrow traps last time, not and pressure plates last time, not this time. Keeping me on my toes. I see. This way. All right, let's let's redo that save here. So there's a spot for it, and then I'll click save as well, so I can reload more easily if I die. Okay, so firstly, we have death traps. 
uh, starting here, that's pressure plate. How do I get past this? Do I just run? Okay, so just run. Objective complete. Oh, loop 4000. Okay. Oh, okay, it stops. They stop after a bit. Right, can I take the boulder back safely to get it out of the way? Oh, yeah, it'd be easy to get past. It was not in my way. All right, that was not so bad. What do we got here? Strange rain of something. Hmm. That leads way down, don't we? That's what I was after, that's what I needed, but uh, it's not really what I was planning for. Alright. Okay. Is that rain of fire? Just an effect. What did this sign warn me about? Only an offer of dead flesh shall grant the entrance to my study. Uh what? Do I need to get a skull or something? Or a body? I have bodies. Only an offer of dead flesh. Hmm. Let's go back and grab a body, shall we? Or a skull. Well, he's dead. The question is, can I get him past this trap without dying? Apparently so, maybe the trap's disarmed? Or maybe I was just quick enough, I'm not sure. Yeah, I have an offering of dead flesh. <coughs> Thank you. Thanks, brother Sorbin. Sorry about your uh, loss, but. Uh... Hello, creepy statue. I guess that might be the talisman of life I need. What's this, What's this scroll tell me? At last, the Zrahazra is mine. As I had expected, it was in one of the southern Greyman cabins, not far away from the Dawn Major's chambers. I had to pull it from the stony grasp of a large statue representing some kind of deity. The Greymen became rather agitated when they noticed it missing, but they weren't able to follow me. Despite the fact that the Zrahazra is a relic created by Greymen, those primitive creatures have no idea about its real power. I shall call it the Talisman of Life, a much more appropriate name. I have installed and tested the three spires in the beta chamber successfully. Archmage Seliazar has been easier to manipulate than I thought, but the other Dawn Mages are becoming suspicious. Visions of the Netherworld haunted my dreams last night, and when I woke up I felt unusually weak. The Book of Souls' power is diminishing, and there are still five weeks until my secret daughter turns 18. At her birthday I shall take her back and perform the ritual immediately. Azakiel came to my study today to deliver a so-called final message from the Order. He was obviously startled seeing my face fully covered by an ancestral breathing mask. I took the letter and sent the scribe away. They are asking me to stop my unethical studies. Otherwise, they are going to take all necessary measures to stop me. Fools! During the last decades, I have been making progress in areas they refuse to consider. In the end, they will beg me on their knees to share my wisdom with them. I can feel the grasp of death getting firmer. I do not dare ever take off my mask, not even during sleep. Every new day that I awake in my miserable state reminds me my life is no longer worth living. I must go to the upper chamber and project more of my essence into the Book of Souls. Otherwise I can't endure this damned mortality much longer. Hmm, Book of Souls in the alpha chamber, huh? Well, I, uh... Found the alpha chamber. That was the one with the sword in it. I didn't see a book of souls or anything resembling any kind of book. Rope arrow, huh? Interesting. Is 
That looks like a banner to me. No, it doesn't die. Sad. We got here a switch. Is it that easy? Surely something bad's gonna happen. Yeah. Great, somebody's come to say hello. Fight you! <laughs> Definitely dead, Brother Sorvin. Okay. <laughs> right, that's why there's not bringing up dead flesh. So we wake up again. Nice. How cunning. Uh, <laughs> Definitely dead, Brother Sorvin. I like that. Okay, I think that means I have escaped. I've got Talisman of Life. I lost some of mine in the process, but not all of it. Importantly. And, uh, oh, there's a red garage so I can get back out, I guess. In case I didn't. In case I fucked up somehow and wasn't able to get back out. In case he dropped. In case he could drop down here and grab the ladder and be stuck. Yeah. Alright. Objectives. I've just got the three gem gemstones left. Well, two of them. One in the tower, one in the attic. Uh, find information about a major's order below the manor. Where do I find the information? Maybe I should try going back to that alpha chamber. Well, which had the sword. That was not this one. That was the one down here. Let's just go back there quickly. In case there is... A book there that I missed. The book of, the book of souls. As if it is there. Then it might be the information I need. It's just the upper chamber, right? I didn't even try climbing on top of that thing, but... Uh, yeah, this is the upper chamber. Alrighty. Well, good thing I had the uh, sword with me before I went into that other place. There's no book here. And Mr. Ghost that spawned here didn't have a book either. wood on the ceiling, there's no way I can get up there on top of it, even if there was anything on top. Okay, oh, I don't know where I'd find this information. Maybe the book, maybe Robert found the book and he has it hidden somewhere in the manor, though, somewhere I have not found yet. Such as his vault, I haven't found access, any way to access his vault yet. So I think that's where I should go next. Back to the manor. Need to find uh, the two gems, one in the attic, which we need a pole, one in the tower, which I don't know how we get to the tower, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, you can come with me. Okay. Creepy crypts. I think we're done with here. Well, I don't know why Robert's body has disappeared. That's suspicious. I do wonder if maybe the uh, necromancer dude whose diary we found there has something to do with it. I also wonder where this goes. So I need a key for that. None of you guys had keys, did you? I didn't really check. Well, it, it would probably be the High Priest, right? So I guess this used to be the Gamma Chamber and they redecorated it. That would explain that symbol. Let's just check the High Priest's body in case he has another key on him that I miss. Wait for the 
up in the corner. Underneath this frame. Yeah, I don't see a key. So I need to access the vault somehow, but for that I need a code. <coughs> Damn, you don't suspect anything, do you, mate? I need to access the vault, I need to access the towers, uh, and I need to access this room where something bad was happening, and the attic, I need to know what to do about these buttons. And there's the eight switches puzzle, and I haven't found eight switches yet. Oh. It's a room I haven't been in. But I heard a guard. Oh, this is the captain's. This is the captain of the guard's room. What am I doing? The guard I heard this is the one out here. God, you're an idiot. Damn it. Pay more attention next time. I don't know if there's any more water arrows in there. You saw nothing, my good sir. Oh, he did see something. Well, I've got the talisman as life. Doesn't I can't use it to give myself any more life. And I do realise now I have some flash bombs, so. I shouldn't really have slaughtered those hammers, I could have just flashed them and knocked them out. Oh well. Where's my house key? House. House key. Yeah. Oh, that's just the guys. Oh, hello. Closing in, Tapper. Hmm. Odd. Just one. one move, Tapper, in your mind. I was thinking the other way around to myself, but uh here's my one move. Oh but you don't have a key on you. Oh well. At least I don't have to list you coughing anymore, but that probably means I still can't get out. Uh, up there, right? House key. Oh well, never mind. Where do I need to go now? The towers. And oddly enough, the towers are not really. Don't seem to be accessed inside, which is very weird. Also, I'm now recalling from outside the house we could see a large kind of chamber we roomy place on top. Where is that? I don't know. I can check the fountain now, but I don't know where it is either. Hmm. 
definitely bits of roof though. No way up to that balcony I can see. Alright, let's go out the back door. So we still have these two guards here. Oh, where did you come from? Hmm. Oh, he came down from your post. He must have fallen off. And uh, that works for me, I think. I can make that work for me. Stand where that guy won't see me. You've messed with the wrong man, thief. Sorry, you won't be able to get me. All right. Hmm. Oh, that's the bit I could see. Is it not? What's a sticking up bit on the eastern side? What's the one on the western side as well? Yeah. Maybe just because I've been here only a few months. Oh. Maybe they can just get away with pushing me around. I forgot you were there. I'll show them someday. You show them. You show them. Uh, right, but there's nothing, nothing for me to see. Oh, that must be the attic. That's the attic room on this side. Yeah, the other one's the attic on the other side. But I've not yet been able to access. But I need a pole. Where do I get a pole? Rip, rip, rip this torch out of the ground and use it. No. Well, sir, I'm afraid. You being up there is a liability for me. Something that's bright. And I need to practice my archery again. Uh, very sorry about that. I hope your relatives will be well compensated by the estate of Lord Carrington. But uh, it had to be done. Because there's banners that need dropping down. And uh, a tower that I need to get to that I can't get to. Well, that doesn't help me get to the tower at all. Maybe that was a useless murder. Whoops. Well, banners. The banners did have to die. That's, that's guaranteed. How do I get to these towers? Right, that's, that's on the, not on the ground floor. Is that wood? Is that wood? Let's, start, let's try an ordinary, an ordinary arrow first. It's not wood, so I can't stick a rope out into that and jump through the window. Yeah, I've still got plenty of those. Doesn't, doesn't matter what I How do I get there? We're on the northeastern side. behind here, right? And yet, there is no such doorway. Hmm. How strange. And the stair, as far as staircase is there, so that's definitely a butter. Is there a secret door on this side that I just didn't notice? No. How the hell? Well, the observatory is one of them. Oh, there must be a passage in here. I'm going to have to go back to that room. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go back to that room and look for a secret passage. Must be a 
passage I missed. Uh, I dropped the wall safety again because I'm trying to be clever and also keep my inventory somewhat under control. Which is fine. It did help keep my inventory under control. Secret passage behind the secret passage. Is that really what I'm asking for here? How deep is this room compared to this? Looks deeper. So if there is a way through, it would have to be down here somewhere. I don't see anything that looks like a passage. I'm hearing the creepy room next door again. Alright, you know what, I'm just going to leave that there. It's not like there's not plenty of other evidence of a break-in. Hmm. How do I get there? Oh. That must be it. Another attic access. Um. Will the shovel work on this one? Probably not, right? Probably not. Well, I can always try. Yeah, it seems the shovel is not what's needed there. All right. No, not on the floor. There we are. Shovel on display. How do I? How am I supposed to go to this? This one isn't going to be pickable with a lock either, is it? I can try lock picks. Nope, it's going to need a key. Let's just run through my keys. Uh, oh, it's, it's going to need specifically. Uh, why is the horn of Delora in its own separate thing rather than loot? Interesting. Hmm. Hunting dragon painting. Talisman of life. Doesn't open it. Alright, I don't know how. I'm gonna do that. Shoot an arrow into it. Yep. That one's got uh, some paper behind it. Right up there. Ah. Okay. Well, let's make a note of that because I missed it before. Well, there's another, another passage right there. Another potential way into the attic, possibly. Possibly way over there. There's nothing here. Let's try putting the torch out to see if it opens up, but no, that would be silly. Well, that was a waste, but probably not a big deal. Because uh, the only things I need to do now is find information about the Major's Order and uh, get the last two gemstones. I know one of them is in here, and the other one is in the attic. And there's two attic sections, but I need a pole. Where do I find a pole? Where do I find a pole? Not here in the storage room. I guess I'll look around to see if I miss any kind of pole or anything. All that was. That's a better spot for you. Well, you won't mistake it anything else. There's nothing suspicious about your ceiling, is there? No. Just a boring storage room. Pile of bodies. And a clock that's uh, running a little too fast. Observatory. Oh, I don't know what these are. I should try frogging them, right? See if anything happens. Uh, schools of magic. Oh, that's, that's about the schools of magic. Restoration, conjuration, scrying, and necromancy. I guess. Which one's which? 
That's necromancy, surely. Restoration? Is that restoration? Scrying, still passing. Oh, these are just tablets, labels. Conjuration, the school of summoning. Restoration, the school of healing. Necromancy, the school of death. Okay, they're not buttons. I thought they were buttons. They're just labels. And that goes down. Does that open? Hmm. It does. That's right, I've been there before. No. I've opened it before because that cut the security system. Okay. And I can look at the moon. That, none of that helps me anymore. Well, that does tell me that. That actually does help me, perhaps. The level of these towers is below the second floor. Alright. Um, so if there was a passageway. We'll say I've got rid of the light, but I can, I can get more light. Uh, it might be, you know, this kind of height. Rather than a full height. Or maybe... Oh. I don't know this way. I was temporarily confused. Maybe there's a way in from this level. Well, there's no chimney there that I'm climbing up. Not a fire arrow, though. What all good that's going to do me. This is just being enormously generous with the fire arrows. That's 17 of them. Uh, back door's not going to help me. Right, the only guards left conscious slash alive, as far as I'm aware, are the ones on strike. So maybe... One of them is hunting for something. Do they have a pole? I don't know. What I do know is I still have a flash bomb. We got a man headed for the north. Watch out. What? God, guys, I've seen that body before. Come here, guys. I've got Watch something out. for ya. Pin <laughs> cushion now, Harper. My first flash bomb didn't work successfully. So I had to use both. Alright, but I think that's all the guards I need to deal with, so hopefully the lack of flash bombs is not gonna be a problem for me. Right, so now I have access to the gazebo. And I can be a scab and chop down the strike banners. Technically, they're banners, so I need to chop them down regardless. But, access to the gazebo is giving me nothing at all. There's no holes. Let's double check in here. I mean, you got a pole sticking up from the cart, but that's just a part of the cart. That's not relevant. Got vines. Oh, that I can climb. Okay. Does that get me anywhere? No, that one won't. This one will get me the roof. And I guess I can get in through the window. <laughs> Alternate access to the building, alright. Doesn't really help me. Side door here to the conservatory. I was running around hunting for things that you miss. It's not, never my favourite part of the game, but it uh, happens quite uh, quite often, unfortunately. There was a window that looked that I thought looked suspicious, but it's just... It doesn't break. Just swallows arrows. So that's just a way up onto the balcony. It's another way into the building, I guess. Um... Okay. Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, nice. 
Now that all the guards are dead or unconscious, I don't need to be silent anymore. Can I climb this vine? No, no, so that's nicely inconsistent. I bet I can't climb this one either. Not that I need to. Yeah. So out of four vines, five vines on the outside of the building. Here's another shovel. This one's not going to open the attic, is it? That would be silly. Five vines on the outside of the building and I can climb two. Well, I can try this shovel. Well, more than five vines. I guess there's a bunch of them. Well, I broke the door. Whoops. Ah, oh, not permanently. I oh, know it just disappears. Okay, it's just buggy. Uh, this one isn't going to open this any better, is it? Play along with his friend. Dear oh dear, I don't know what to do or how to proceed. I can't find my way into the tower I need, I can't find my way into the attic that I need to. So I'm kind of left wandering around rather aimlessly. Was there anything in the living room? kind of pole hiding in here. How about, let's just check here, maybe, maybe there's a pole stored up in this attic. Nope. Nothing of the sort. Nothing of the sort. Yeah. Um, I still don't have the key to the safe. Just got some of those. That's, that's been stolen from. Don't have the key to that either. So, I'm missing all these, just hammer I guess, okay. Uh, one of them had a hammer, right? The well, hammer doesn't count as a pole. Surely. Uh, sword? Can I? So I move to slowly, slowly there. Can I just like poke at this with my sword and just that open it? No. Don't think throwing a hammer at it would be any better. Although there was a hammer all the way down in the chapel. I think it was. All right, well, I am going to uh, end this episode here since it's uh, been just about an hour already. And uh, while I'm away, I'm going to look up what I'm missing and find out. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you here for the next episode.